what is up it is your girl simone here welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you go ahead and subscribe now today's video we are doing another educational wig video for you guys if you guys missed my last video i showed you guys how to purchase a wig and how to avoid getting scammed by wig companies now today in this video i'm basically doing kind of the same thing except i'm showing you guys what to look for when you're purchasing a wig and how to purchase the correct wig when it comes to the lace any new inventions a headband and wig cap construction today's video is sponsored by hair vivi so the wig that i have on is definitely hair vivi throughout the video i will be showing you guys how i am installing it if you guys are also interested i do have a discount code if you order within one week of this video being posted you will be able to get 40 dollars off so you will use code simone 40 and if you order after the week you will use the code simone which you can use at any time and that will get you 30 dollars off okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the four things that you should definitely look out for when it comes to purchasing your wig Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the True Scalp Tape. So I just applied it onto my wig as you guys can see and I'm going to tell you guys this. They are really trying to get rid of the fake scalp method and I know we all were raving about it at one point like no, fake scalp is it, fake scalp is here to stay. But there were a couple of flaws with the fake scalp method. Now it was minimal flaws, like if the company knew how to do it right, it came out really well. However, over time of you wearing the fake scalp method, I did want to just feel regular lace because I feel like it did offer more flexibility so the fake scalp method did serve its purpose but I like that we still have the option to have a strip of what the fake scalp would possibly kind of be similar to but we can also take off that strip if we didn't want to keep it there forever so that would be the true scalp tape it is very sticky many brands are like trying to like bring this out and I know I always hype hair baby but I feel like they do it right they have two different options they have one for a darker skin tone which they are marketing as as mocha and then they have one for like fair skin to like medium skin and that's gonna be the cappuccino color so that's the color that you guys see me wearing in this video the true scout tape is basically like a silicone sticker but there's only really one shade of them on the market like one shade one color <laughs> of the silicone tape on the market so they offered two colors which is really good because I feel like a lot of brands they really cater to fair to medium skin tones and then I feel like for dark skin tones it's really hard to get it right especially when it comes to the scalp the other benefits of the true tone tape is you don't really have to put foundation on your lace unit when it comes to the scalp now for me I like to always customize mine to my liking so if you like that too I would say go ahead and continue but the purpose of this true scalp tape is to prevent you from having to put on any makeup and as you guys see I'm not putting any makeup on my wig so this wig is really like I always say straight out of the box straight onto your head and straight onto the street okay like it is literally a wig that is to the point while i did love the fake scalp method i do feel like not having the fake scalp which was an extra like basic like a ball cap similar to a ball cap attached to the lace front part of the wig while i did like it i did feel like sometimes it could feel like an extra layer on your head i still wear ball caps on my head but i don't spray it down because i don't need to you know i just wear it so that my real hair underneath is just like like it doesn't get all frizzy and fuzzy but i'm not wearing it to actually keep <laughs> um to create that fake scalp because the wig the lace and the true tone tape already do all of that for me the good thing also about the true tone tape is it does eliminate the whole screen door type of thing it eliminates the grids on your scalp so we're gonna go a little bit closer and you kind of can't see the grid well i don't know if you can but i don't think you can when i looked up close i couldn't really see it so <laughs> um i think it definitely does its job it kind of reminds me of some faux videos i've done in the past but i feel like it was a little bit thicker the good thing about this true tone tape is sometimes you can see the line of demarcation and a lot of these like tapes that you might use which you get from walgreens or cvs and you kind of can't see the line of demarcation so it's a really flat 
tape that I'm highly impressed with. Okay, so that brings me to point number two, the multicolor HD lace. As you see, we have mocha and cappuccino. Obviously, mocha would be to people who are more towards this skin color, and then the cappuccino is basically fair to medium. So that would be like anyone lighter than me and anyone maybe possibly two to three shades darker than me. So that's the color of the lace, and that's what makes the lace look so natural and realistic. Again, no foundation, no concealer, no powder, nothing. The lace is also very invisible, okay? <laughs> like, it looks really good. The one thing about Hair Vivi wigs that I do actually really commend them for is when I wear their wigs, I actually do feel very confident. So I stopped wearing wigs, well, stopped wearing wigs as often, especially this summer, because honestly, I just felt like I needed a break. I just wanted to see my real hair. I wanted to wear braids. I wanted to explore and try other hairstyles, which I definitely did. Now, one reason why you should want invisible lace is it gives you more options. Like, you can wear your wig glueless, you can melt it into your skin, and it will still give you the same look if you were to do it glueless. So it still gives you that meltable look. So I try to opt in for as clear as possible. You don't really want to lace that's too white because you'll be putting in some work so yes hair baby's lace is more invisible than the original swiss lace so something to consider i want to go into how you choose the right lace for your skin color so if you're online and you're ordering my mom was actually getting ready to order a hair baby wig and she's like which lace do i choose no it's nothing about wigs right the easiest way to explain to her is because there's only two shades, and obviously in our black community, we have several shades, you kind of have to split it in half. Now, when it comes to lace, it doesn't have to be the exact match, but you want it to be a great enough match enough to where you don't have to really put in that much work, right? I'm going to use these foundations right here as a guide, and think about it as if you were buying foundations or a concealer. Actually, no. Foundation, because foundation has to be your actual skin color. I would split it right down the middle and I would purposely do that because everything on this side would be cappuccino, right? That would be the cappuccino lace that they're advertising and everything from here and down would be mocha. So would it be too dark for shades that are kind of on the cusp? If you're naturally like right above caramel, they're that shade that will put you on the cusp. I would go with the lighter shade. If you are on that cusp section, you don't want to go too dark. So if you are like right smack dab, like in one of these like random shades, and you're like, listen, I really don't know which way to go, don't go darker, go lighter. If you're more on the darker side, then I would say stick with mocha. So kind of look at it like that. If you're on the cusp, go lighter. <laughs> if you're three shades further from the cusp, go darker, okay? I hope that made sense. <laughs> so yes, they did add a color card, which does make life a little bit easier. So when I put it back, you can see with the glare, it looks lighter. And this is kind of describing what it would kind of be like. Okay, so let's go into the third point, And this is going to be the new construction on the wig cap. So we all know we started off loving 13 by 4 lace front wigs. And basically what that is, is the lace part right here would be four inches long and then 13 inches wide right but then we then went to 13 by 5 which is a little bit of a longer part and still five inches here and then 13 inches air to air now most companies if you want that real natural look most companies will do a 13 by 6 and the longer your part is the more natural your wig looks okay so you want your part to be long you don't want your part to be short the shorter it is the less natural your wig will look i don't make the rules okay with the upgrade comes wider side sections so if you look at the the wigs that are made today or even like up from two three years ago they did this thing where it was like this U and then it comes down and then you only had a little bit of lace. So basically if you wanted to do a deep side part right here, you couldn't do that, right? Cause the lace would be so short. What they have done now, Hair Vivi, speaking of, they've done 13 by six. So they give you more lace and more parting options, right? So you have parting up to like right here. I'm gonna show you in a second, but you have parting up to right here. So if I wanted to do a deep side part right here, I could do that versus being stuck with only doing it right here, okay? So that is a win-win. If you see right here, the mic might be kind of weird because it's on my side, but there's more parting options here. So there's more parts. So the part goes all the way back here. 
so love that for us love that <laughs> and then if you have sideburns or you like that sideburn look which i don't have sideburns so i can appreciate it on a wig where i can just easily take it off and put it back on i know a lot of girls get it shaved but i do wish i had my ashanti sideburns which i don't but um as you can see it gives me more option to leave more hair here so i didn't really customize right here too much because I love the wig just the way it is, but if you do want to really get into that sideburn action and customize it at the baby hairs, you have that option to do that with this unit. And then the last major upgrade is the non-slip elastic band. Now I don't I don't have that on this unit, so I will actually show you guys a picture right here of what it looks like, and I think this amazing because I feel like you want as much grip as possible to keep your wig in place especially on the days where you want to wear your wig glueless right so to have the grip on the back really makes you feel like your wig is not going anywhere and it's here to stay so that's a winning point for me i am pro headband i love headbands i will say this the time is getting colder the wind will be a little bit more harsher so if you are worried about any breakage in the back of your head especially with the grip on the back of the elastic band i would say just oil the back of your hair before you put your wig on so that there isn't much friction to create breakage so that is a helpful tip for you guys so in conclusion do i think the fake scalp method is completely like we should be done with it completely i think it served its purpose for most people and it definitely did for me as well as hair vivi and many of their other wigs but it is nice to have an option that is a little bit more breathable like i said you can take off the entire strip if you're like you know what i just want straight lace or you can add it if you just really want that scalp like no grid type of feel so you have the option for both you also do not have to worry about bleaching the knots i think that it's huge it's 2022 so technically every brand should offer the um not to being bleached like it should be already done but many brands especially the brands that i do work with still to this day they do not offer that option here vivi and many other wig companies that are more on the higher price and they do offer that option so that when you get the wig you literally are taking it out the box and putting it straight onto your head with minimal fixes and i always stress that to you guys i am a lazy wig wearer i am a lazy wig wearer <laughs> sounds like a tongue twister because it just sounds funny when i'm saying it but i'm telling you guys it is probably the most accurate description of how i am with my wigs if i cannot pop it on my head the minute i take it out the box i will push it to the back until i do have time to actually do it so wig the knots already come bleached you got a piece of strip a piece of tape to put so it looks even more natural and then all you have to do is just flatten the top which i did um partially on and partially off camera and that is it i didn't cut it i didn't pluck it i didn't bleach it i didn't do none of that so just saying this whole entire upgrade from hair vivi is to basically make your wig look scalp like offer ease to your life and basically make you look like a bomb at this is the hair vivi revolutionary upgrade i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm actually enjoying doing videos like this because i feel like it's really just eliminating the amount of questions that are being asked that a lot of people do not answer or talk about myself included you know we usually do install videos but i think videos like this are really helping to educate you guys how to prevent being scammed how to find the best wig how to look for the best wig how to make your wig look good in less than 20 minutes because at the end of the day we just want quick fast but we also want great quality so i think videos like this are helpful to the community if you order within the first week you can use the code simone40 and that will get you 40 dollars off if you do order after the first week that this video is posted you can use the discount code simone and that will get you 30 dollars off of the wig at any time but i will see you guys in my next video let me know if you guys like these type of videos where i'm actually educating you guys on wigs and how to purchase them and i will continue to do more i will see you guys in my next video don't forget everything will be down below for you guys in the description box and i'll see you guys bye